oh, this, is, this will get so in depth that it might even just be a little bit too much. I'm obsessed with George Harrison, living in the material world. This is what I want to do next. Go to India and sort of do like a meditation retreat. I feel a, a real um, sense of urgency to, to produce things and create things. And if you think about the universe and how grand that is, and how short our lifetime is in that. It's like a, it's like a, a second in the universe. So as if you're not gonna do what you love to do, why would you waste your time doing anything else? But yeah, you can get right into that whole philosophy about it. The future is now. Anyway, I live by that. So that's, that's, that was my grandfather's, so it's really special. I listen to music all the time when I paint, and a lot of the lyrics um, will creep into my, my work, because I have a lot of text in my work, so a lot of like uh, lines that will stand out, um, yeah, I'll put that in my work, and then even if I paint over it, it's still you know, in those layers underneath, and so it's always there. And now I want to put some text. One's up here, that's kind of like a thing that I do. Although sometimes it can run through the middle, but for this one, I'm picturing the text. Maybe running like here. The basis of my work actually stems from graffiti removal. And so I will intentionally make mistakes when I'm painting, just so I can then paint over it and keep building those layers. You know the stuff you see on every wall in Sydney where someone has graffitied and then someone else has painted over it to, to erase it. Well, that's the same idea that I'm doing here. And it's that palimpsest, that, that um, layering that builds up over time that creates interesting textures. I went to a tattoo studio and I said, hey, I want to be a tattooist. Being a naive 18-year-old, uh, and they said, we'll go and do a fine arts course and then come back to us. So I was like, okay. So <laughs> it wasn't to be a painter or anything like that, or an artist, uh, or a tattoo artist, but um, yeah, I wanted to be a tattooer. And I was very much into it, and I've tattooed myself a few times um, on many a uh, drunken occasion. It's a little alien and he's smoking a cigarette, and it was a stick and poke I did on myself. Uh, I think it was like International Space Day or something like that. Some random, you know. I love seeing people who are truly themselves and they're just out there and they just uh, make no apologies for who they are. I love that. Why not dress up and be playful and funky in a world that can be sometimes so harsh? still yet to work out whether or not what I do is a form of therapy but you know just like everyone I have down days and I feel anxious and things like that by painting such funky colorful bright bold work that's my way of saying fuck you to to how I feel on the inside <laughs>